welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be super fun and super like festive for the new year. I'm gonna be telling you guys my top 16 Lush products of 2016. This is not talking about the things most used in 2016. This is talking about my favorite products that specifically came out this year at Lush. So these are all new products that even a year ago I hadn't even heard of before, but I'm already in love with all these things and very deeply invested in. So I hope that they always have these products every single year. Some of these products are seasonal, some of them are there in stores all year round, but all of them came out in 2016. I'm also going to be doing a video like this on my vlog channel. It'll be going up after this one, I believe. So if you want to check that out, I'll put the link to my vlog channel in the doobly-doo. In that video, I'm just going to be talking about kind of like general things like music and other beauty products other than Lush. Number one on my list is something that is probably kind of surprising to you guys because I haven't talked about it a whole lot except for my Boxing Day haul, but Mr. Sandman Dusting Powder. This is a new product that came out in the Lush Christmas range this year, and it is amazing. The smell the smell of this is so incredible. It's kind of like a malted vanilla lavender scent. It's really, really nice. It's super strong. It relaxes you and it's glittery, which like, oh my goodness. This product was made by Zoe. Thank you, Zoe. You totally look like a Zoe. Doesn't that person totally look like a Zoe? I think that's the most Zoe person I've ever seen in my life. Mr. Sandman, one of the best products that came out this year. Totally recommend it to any Twilight lover, any dusting powder lover, any sparkly lover, any person who enjoys relaxation. Mr. Sandman is the one for you. Something new that came out this year and that is in the range all year round now is the Bling Toothy Tabs. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not like in love with these toothy tabs, but for a toothpaste, I think they're really, really great. Whenever I do use them, they really brighten my teeth and just like make me feel really refreshed and nice. Toothy tabs definitely aren't for everyone, but these ones are just really good and they are like citrusy, so I like using them in the morning when I do use them. I don't know, I just feel like these were a really good addition this year and I feel like a lot of people like them and they're like shiny and gold, so I feel like they're kind of cool. So I actually have a few soaps from this year that I just like fell in love with and this one is one of my absolute favorites out of all of them. This is the Shooting Star Soap and it has a hair on it. Oh my goodness. Shooting Star Soap is so beautiful. It has the most zingy, vibrant, lemon, lime, delicious, candy scent you have ever smelled. Anyway, I'm obsessed with this soap. I think it is beautiful. Not only does it smell amazing, but it's also super moisturizing, which is great for me. This is an all around amazing soap. I highly recommend it to anybody who really, really enjoy citrus. I love citrus, so I love this soap, and it is just all around amazing. Joe, 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 can you shut the hall door? Next is the Sunflower Bubble Bar. I got this back in Mother's Day, at Mother's Day. I don't know how to say that. Anyway, it is amazing. It is a really, really beautiful bubble bar. I did a whole review on it back when I got it. I believe you could only get this product in gift sets, but I ended up getting the gift set that included this bubble bar, and I just really, really enjoyed it. Honestly, the scent right now is very, very subdued. Like, I can't smell it very much at all, but I remember it being really, really amazing and just something different that Lush had never really brought out before. I definitely hope that Lush brings this back in future Mother's Day collections because I really 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 enjoyed it and I definitely buy it again. The next thing I have is also from the Mother's Day collection and that is the Rose Bombshell Bath Bomb. This bath bomb was amazing because it smelled just like the Rose Jam scent which is one of my favorite scents of all time. Usually rose scents can be very sickening and granny like but the Rose Jam scent that Lush does is just perfect. It's not granny like at all and it's just like vibrant and sweet. I don't usually hear people talking about the Sunflower Bubble Bar or the Rose Bombshell Bath Bomb very often. Probably because they came out at Mother's Day and people don't really buy Mother's Day things as often as like Halloween or Christmas or anything like that, but I do feel like they are really awesome products and I'd love to see them again in Lush collections to come. Obviously, I was not gonna leave the bubbly shower gel out. This shower gel is so amazing. It has a Celebrate scent, which is super, super delicious. If you've never smelled the Celebrate scent family, it is amazing. Bubble. This product definitely smells very orangey and citrusy and just like, kind of like Pez candy. It just smells very sweet and delicious and inviting and I feel like a lot of people would like this, especially people who enjoy citrus scents. This definitely puts a pep in your step and I just really, really love the scent. It also stays on your skin, which I love. This next step I'm gonna talk about came out in the Halloween range and I am obsessed with it. This is the Magic Wand Soap. I'm not gonna take it out of its plastic because then I'd have to like, Rewrap it in plastic, it'd be really, really annoying. Magic Wand Soap smells exactly like the Angel's Delight Soap that Lush used to bring out every year, at least when I first became a Lushy. They brought it out for a few years and then they stopped. Anyway, this soap is 10 out of 10. It's moisturizing, it smells amazing, and it is beautiful. I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of looks like 
a fire of deliciousness. I'm obsessed with the soap. I'd recommend it to anybody who enjoys fruit punch and great skin. Another thing that came out in the Christmas range was the Snowy Bubble Bar. I do think that this product was totally overpriced, but I did really enjoy it. The main reason I really like this bubble bar is because it smelled just like the frozen bath bomb, so it was very like neroli-y and grapefruity. I think it's a great combo between citrus and floral. It's kind of like a very different scent that originally I didn't actually like, but it's definitely grown on me. I think a lot of people did also like it because it was a tribute to David Bowie, so it kind of did go along with this whole year. It was overpriced, but I mostly just really enjoyed the scent, and I feel like a lot of people really liked this bubble bar this year, so I thought I'd put it in today's video. Another thing that came out in the Halloween range was the Autumn Leaf Bath Bomb. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I have not actually tried this for myself, but I really, really like the scent of this bath bomb, and I think it's just really, really beautiful uh, in pictures I've seen and stuff like that. As you can see, it's a super, super beautiful bath bomb. It has kind of a different scent that I don't usually go for. It's very like floral and kind of musky. It kind of has like an almost masculine scent. Again, it's not a scent that I usually go for, but I definitely like this, and I've seen a lot of demos, and it's just simple and pretty, and I don't know. I just like the whole design, and I feel like it was a good addition for this year's collection. make a video of my top 16 products of 2016 and not put the sleepy lotion in. As we've already discussed, I'm obsessed with the Twilight scent. It is just so beautiful, super lavendery, super vanilla-y, super malty, super comforting and relaxing. It's just amazing. Anyway, I'm obsessed with this lotion. I'm so happy that I was able to get a good amount before Boxing Day because I wasn't able to get any of this lotion at Boxing Day. Sleepy freaking lotion is the love of my life. Another one of my very favorite products of all time is the Monsters Ball Bath Bomb that came out in the Halloween range. Monsters Ball Bath Bomb is one of the best bath bombs I have ever used in my entire life. This bath bomb is just so incredibly beautiful and it has one of my very, very favorite scents of all time, which is the Kalaka scent. This product smells like lime, but very like sweet and very, very different. It's not a scent I've ever smelled in any other company. It's just so unique and delicious and like beautiful. The, the scent is beautiful, the bath bomb is beautiful, it's kind of like crazy, it's definitely fitting for Halloween. If they don't bring this back again for Halloween, I will literally cry my eyes out. I'm gonna sit like this because my butt is falling asleep. I was so devastated when my Lush store sold out of them because I was only able to get one and it's seriously one of the best bath bombs I've ever had in my entire life. So yeah, Monsters Freaking Ball. Definitely one of the best balls I've ever used. Next on my list is the Nevermind the Ballistics bath bomb. This bath bomb has the most gorgeous, peachy, banana-y, pineapple-y, tropical, mango, amazing, delicious, Hawaiian fruit punch scent you've ever smelled in your days. This seriously has such a beautiful scent. I hope that Lush makes a million more scents out of this scent because it is Incredible. Anyway, this is just, it's beautiful in the water. It's just yellow and pink, and this part is actually a little bit of luxury bath melt, so if you have drier skin, it is really nice. I feel like it looks like sherbet or something. It kind of smells like sherbet. If you've ever had, like, sherbet ice cream, it kind of smells like that. I have another soap to show you, and that is something that came out, and it's in stores all year round now at Lush, and that makes me very, very happy because I am in love with it. This is the Maypole soap. It smells very Christmassy, so I'm not really sure why they don't just bring it out at Christmas time. I know they have it in Oxford Street all year round because that's where it originated. Anyway, this product smells so amazing. It's very minty and creamy. It kind of smells like peppermint bark or something like that. Here's what my piece looks like on the back, and then obviously this is just plastic and not very exciting, but um, yeah, it's a pretty soap. It smells amazing, and I'm very, very happy that they have this all year round. I'm so happy that they brought this product back. I'm counting it as a new product that came out this year just because it's revamped, and I don't know, it's just very different than the one that they brought out a couple years ago, so I thought I would add it in this video. No other Lights bath bomb. This one is so amazing. If you saw my most recent bath cocktail, it is so incredibly beautiful. This bath bomb is definitely one of the most beautiful bath bombs I've ever used in my lushy life. I think it is so, so gorgeous. While it's fizzing away, it spews out like blue and orange and yellow and obviously it's purple all around, but the end result of this bath is just a beautiful green color, which I love green. I just feel like it's really beautiful, but like when it's fizzing away, it just really puts on a show without any effort at all. Definitely use this on a day that you're trying to like relax because it's very floral and relaxing and amazing. I'd highly, highly recommend this product. One of my favorite bath melts that came out this year was the Razzle Dazzle Melt, and I wasn't expecting this one to be my favorite, but it is 
so amazing. I used this bath melt in a cocktail with the Monsters Ball Bath Bomb and it was one of the most beautiful cocktails I've ever used in my entire life. The Razzle Dazzle smells like raspberries. It's very sweet and like just amazing. It basically just smells like raspberries and sweetness and incredibility. It just makes your bath water so luxurious and amazing and it has silver luster all around it so it gives your bath water a little bit of sparkle which I always like a little bit of sparkle in my life. Last on my list is something that I just posted on Instagram so if you want to check out my Instagram it's at moondog1997. Check it out. Igloo soap. Wow. It's a beautiful soap although it's not very moisturizing it's just kind of like a clear uh, type soap that is fine, whatever, I don't really mind. It just smells incredible. It leaves the scent on your skin even though it's very simple and not too like out there. I was just very happily surprised with this product as well this year and I really, really hope that they bring it back because I don't know, I think it's gonna be a really great essential for the spring and summer months and I'm really excited about it. All right guys, that is it for today's video. This was my top 16 Lush products of 2016. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. If you would, it's just the red button down below. I post exclusively Lush videos on this channel and on my vlog channel. I post everything else, so if you want to check that channel out, I will put it in the doobly-doo. I will see you guys all very soon, and have a great day. Bye!